Hyundai just unveiled the new Ioniq 5N, its very first high-performance all-electric vehicle. And here's what you need to know. Yeah. Portending a whole range of pumped up EVs, Hyundai debuted this hot hatchback at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in England. The South Korean automaker shared a whole bunch of photos, but unfortunately no video footage, at least with us. So just imagine squealing tires, whirring electric motors, and heavy breathing as we scan and pan these pictures. Far more than just some appearance package, the Ionic 5N brings a lot to the table, much more, in fact, than the closely related Kia EV6 GT. I think everyone just assumed the Ionic 5N would pretty much be a copy and paste of that Kia, but it absolutely is not. In fact, many of the car's structural components have been bolstered. The body in white, for instance, has 42 additional weld points and contains around seven extra feet of structural adhesive. That's kind of like hot glue, but better, I guess. The motor and battery mounting points have been reinforced. The subframes were enhanced for greater lateral rigidity, and even the steering column is stiffer than what comes in regular Ionic 5s. Now, all of those components were reinforced to handle huge power and performance. The ENDS rear biased dual electric motors provide up to 478 kilowatts, about 650 horsepower when the N grin boost mode is engaged. I did not name that. That provides an additional jolt of oomph for up to 10 seconds. And that's enough to get this car from a standstill to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour in a scalding 3.4 seconds. As for top speed, this Hyundai finishes off at around 160 miles an hour. The Ionic 5N also gets a larger battery than what comes in other eGMP-based vehicles. A pack that clocks in at 84 kilowatt hours, which of course is an increase of about 10. Thanks to an 800 volt electrical architecture, this battery should still be able to charge from 10 to 80% in a lickety split 18 minutes. Now, unfortunately, no range estimates have been shared, but they probably won't be all that great. Remember, this is a hardcore performance car, not some hyper-miling commuter vehicle. Zesting things up, this Ionic 5's N E-Shift feature simulates gear changes by briefly interrupting motor torque while accelerating, and the feel is designed to emulate an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, and hopefully they didn't copy the judders DCTs are often known for. Similarly, N Active Sound Plus works with N E Shift to provide more engagement, and basically this system creates fake engine sounds, pumping them out through the vehicle's audio system, both inside, from eight speakers, and out, thanks to two external sound emitters. Drivers can choose between three different themes, including one that mimics the N Division's two-liter turbocharged engine. And actually, that sounds like an Oldsmobile diesel, but Thanks for trying anyway. N-tuned brakes help rein in this EV's prodigious performance, and up front are 15.7-inch rotors that are clamped by four-piston monoblock calipers. They, of course, work in conjunction with 14.2-inch rear discs. Naturally, regenerative braking is included, and the automaker says this is actually the Ionic 5N's primary way of shedding speed. So-called N-brake regen was tuned on the Nürburgring Nordschleife and provides up to 0.6 Gs of deceleration, which is a whopping figure. In addition to that, there are many other N-specific features. N-battery preconditioning, for instance, optimizes the temperature of the pack for racing on either road courses or drag strips. And launch control works to deliver the quickest starts possible and race mode optimizes the vehicle's energy usage to deliver the fastest lap times, either in quick bursts or back-to-back -back hot laps. The N-Drift Optimizer helps you maintain a desired slip angle and includes a simulated clutch kick function to help initiate a drift. And torque distribution has 11 different settings, so you can vary the output split between axles. And pedal helps provide crisper turn in behavior and greater accelerator sensitivity. Okay, enough with the N branding, please. We get it, Hyundai. It's an N car. You don't have to call every feature N something. As for visual enhancements, the Ionic 5N wears some contrasting black trim and has a wing-like rear spoiler. 
Of course, a bunch of other aerodynamic tweaks have been made as well. And overall, this EV sits 20 millimeters lower, is 50 millimeters wider, and 80 millimeters longer than lesser performing Ionic 5s. Providing miles of style and plenty of grip are 21-inch forged aluminum wheels wrapped in sticky Pirelli P0 tires. Inside, you'll find lots of N branding, you know, just in case you forgot what kind of vehicle you're driving. The redesigned steering wheel, specially bolstered seats, door sill, and even the pedals feature some sort of N motif. Now, it's relatively easy for automakers to offer high-performance versions of mass-market EVs. You just throw in larger motors, add some additional features via software, get sticky tires and bigger wheels, tack a giant wing on the back, and you're pretty much good to go. But Hyundai has done a lot more than that with the Ionic 5N. This hatchback has numerous structural enhancements, significant hardware changes, and loads of clever new features, so it should deliver some pretty impressive performance. Unfortunately, there's no information about availability, range, or pricing for this scalding hot Hyundai, so make sure you stay tuned for updates. Now, of course, I did not enjoy presenting this video. There are too many N references even for me to endure. <sighs> Enough already. Goodbye. Well, they made me do a YouTube promo, so I'm back. Next up, watch my full review of the Hyundai Ionic 5 and learn why it is one of the best mass market EVs you can buy right now. Just click somewhere over here for all the details. Can I go now? Are we done?